Hello, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're gonna be making beets. I've made this recipe, both of the recipes I'm gonna make today, because I'm gonna make two recipes today, because I'm getting very ambitious right now. I've made both of these recipes once. I have this handy dandy table with me that now you can definitely see me better on, so isn't that fun? It's very hot today. It's very dark in my apartment because it's about to rain, but here we are, we made it. Okay, so let's get started on some beet recipes. Should I turn on the light? Is that satisfactory? We're just gonna have to work with the lighting. I'm so sorry. Oh my God, I can never find the right pan. Oh dear God. So we're gonna take our beets and wrap them up into a little package and put them on here. This week has been absolutely murdering me. Here's why I like making beets, because literally they're so simple. We're making a beet salad, by the way. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit all over the place right now. We're making a beet salad. So also, you can use the stems of beets to make stuff with, and I didn't know that because I was throwing out all of the stems of my beets. I like how I get this new, this new thing, and the first thing I want to do is make beets on it, which literally stains everything. No. Okay, I'm sorry if the camera changed at all because I thought that turning on a light would make things better, but it's not making anything better. It's just making everything worse, so. I'm just gonna cook in the dark today. Here's the annoying part about beets, is I feel like you need to wash them like nine trillion times in order for them to be like remotely clean. This video is a goddamn mess today. Okay, so I'm just trying to, ew separate the stems from the leaves and cut them into like one inch pieces i guess which takes a long time this is the most trying time of this whole process you like literally can't see me it's making me upset i know that the people who are watching this video right now don't care the people who have already stuck through this long definitely don't give a shit but i give a shit okay Maybe one day I'll be able to afford some real lights. What is that sound? Okay. Why do I look so dark? <laughs> Why is this happening? I just turned on all the lights and I'm gonna try to leave it like this because it's just getting progressively darker. And I'm sorry I didn't do that in the beginning. La -la -la -la. So it may seem like I'm making a lot. I'm doing like two things of beets, but honestly, it's really not, not that bad. So how are you guys liking this new setup? I know I just sprung a bunch of new things on you all at once. You know, the new lighting situation will not be like this hopefully ever again. But the counter thing here, well, this is hopefully gonna stay like this. So how's everyone else's day? Is that thunder? You kids staying out of trouble? Oh my god, it's thundering. This is my only day I can film, so please forgive me. Thunder kind of scares me. Just a little, little side thing about me. I'm afraid of thunder. I think I mentioned in one of my videos before though that I just really don't like loud noises. So thunder, it really falls under that category for me. You know, Oh my god, I'm so scared right now. <laughs> Pray for my- oh my god. Okay, so beets go in the oven for an hour and like 20 minutes or something like that. Very spooked right now. I feel like I'm I'm a kid trying to be an adult all the time. Oh dear. Like I, I don't know how to cook. I don't know anything really. I just try my best. Some of the leaves don't look too hot. So that's kind of sad. You know, I'm trying not to get too upset about it, but I am upset. There's literally like dirt everywhere from, <laughs> from the beets. I've been trying to work on my knife skills. 
because apparently it makes people uncomfortable the way I chop things, which fair. You know what I think the problem was though with my knife skills is that my knife was never sharp enough. And this knife just got sharpened. So I'm ready to go wild. Thank God this is like the last bit to do because uh, I can't do this anymore. Okay, we're done. Okay, now I'm gonna wash these beefs. Uh, uh, now I'm gonna watch, I'm gonna, now I'm gonna wash these stems and the leaves. Leaves? Talking's hard, okay? Um, I'm gonna wash both of these and then for like 900 years and then I'll come back. I get that beets come from the ground, but Jesus Christ, that was a lot of dirt. In you go. Oh no. Okay, I'll fix that later. Some may or may not have gone behind the stove. Garlic time. I can't remember how much garlic it said. But also, I think garlic is one of those things that it's like the same idea as salt and pepper. It's based on discretion is what I'm trying to say. I see people do this all the time with their garlic. Ugh. Okay, that did not work out for me. Unless getting the skin off is why people do that. Gordon Ramsay, please let me know. Why is everything so time consuming? Garlic makes my hands itchy. Is that normal? I wonder if there are certain things that chefs are like sick of chopping up. Like garlic. Is there like that one thing that a chef is like, fucking hate chopping that? Or is everything just fun because you actually know how to cut something the proper way? Chefs let me know. A chef would never watch this channel or they would hate watch me. Look at this. Bet you guys wish you had these knife skills. I kind of forgot about my stems over here. I don't know how long I've been chopping this garlic for. It feels like there's a lot going on right now and I'm trying to be calm about it and not freak out because I tend to do that whenever I'm making something. Like I'm literally cooking two things at once and I'm like, wow, it's a lot. How do people like multitask and do like a bunch of stuff? What if you're cooking for Thanksgiving? Um, no, thank you. Like, I feel pretty calm about those being in there right now. Like, I could definitely be overcooking them, but I feel like it's actually okay. I don't know why I feel calm about it. Maybe because I've done this once and I'm like, I know everything. That kind of sounds like me, so. The last time I did this, I squeezed lemon juice in there and then I dropped my lemon on top of it and then it spilt everywhere and then I didn't have any more lemons, so I couldn't add lemon juice last time. So this time we're adding lemon juice. It's boiling, so I don't think I was supposed to do that. I don't think it needs, I don't know what it needs. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna drain it. Uh, ah. Okay, it's drained. Back in you go. I think this is next. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. Wow, it's a lot. Good thing I used the big pot. Okay, so that's next. Oh shit, I was supposed to chop those up. <laughs> oh, I got really confident there. Man, that sucks. Okay, that's okay. It's okay we didn't chop those leaves up. They're just gonna be big pieces. It's okay, it's cool. I guess garlic goes in? I think that's what it said. I don't know why I'm not just checking. I could literally just easy check. My confidence ruins a lot of recipes that I do. Okay, I felt a little chaotic there and I'm so sorry, my apologies. I'm feeling flustered. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm gonna put it in a plate, this one to be exact, and then we're gonna taste it. Big leaves and all. Oh, maybe I should take out some of that liquid. Or should I leave it in? Is the liquid like part of the flavor? I mean, I'll take this out. Oh my God. I feel like I should have left it in. <laughs> my kitchen floor is a goddamn disaster. Now this is really hot. So naturally I'm gonna eat it right away. Okay. Let's take a bite. Very hot. So good. So good. And it's like healthy too, you know? Okay, so now what's gonna happen? I'm gonna eat some of this while these beets cook and then we're gonna come back here, finish off the beets and hopefully it'll be lighter outside at that point. I will see you in about a half hour. 
Okay, we're back. So, it stopped raining. I took my beets out of the oven. Now I'm gonna try to open these up without hurting myself. Perfect. Okay, I think I'm gonna try to make the dressing. Mm -mm -mm. I don't like measuring stuff in spoons anymore because it's just waste. It's a waste. So I'm just, I'm, I'm a guesser now. Now for some mustard. Okay, so how much was it? A tablespoon? Teaspoon? I think that's enough. And then salt and pepper and a shallot. I forgot about that part. I'm like so lazy, I don't even wanna cut up a shallot. Even though it's like literally the easiest thing ever to do. Okay, the honey's really just not blending in there. <sighs> so, apparently the skin's supposed to just come right off. Not apparently, I've done this before, so it should come right off. Cool. Ah, it's so hot. Like, I know I should wait, but uh, my patience is gone. <laughs> so overall, recipe very time consuming, but definitely worth it if you're in the mood for beets. Ah, ooh, she hot. You know what I've always wanted to know? When will my suffering end? Ah, okay. Now just 800 more to do. Like, I don't like peeling these. Like, it's just kind of like a weird texture. If anybody knows a better way to do this, please let me know. My hands are stained red. I should have worn gloves, but I ran out, so oops. But you know what? I got nowhere to be today. No one's gonna question what's going on here. All I need to do today is eat some beets. I honestly, like last time I made this, remember this being much easier. Like I did not struggle. I don't know why it's taking me so long right now. Like, am I just supposed to go like this? Just squeeze it? That's what I've been kind of doing. I'm just like squeezing it and then hoping for the best. That's what she said. <laughs> if you've stayed with me through all of this, then oh my God, you deserve an award. I feel like I made way too many beats. That's okay. I can eat them over a period of a few days, but that's a lot of beats for one person. Okay, now for the dressing. Now, I'd love to mix this up, but it's too large. So I'm just gonna start eating and then slowly mixing as I go. All right. Okay, it's so good. I'm literally just gonna eat this all day. Let me put my two masterpieces side by side. So my first masterpiece turned out great, loved it. Although I should have cut the leaves, but we're not gonna talk about that. And my second masterpiece, So I'm gonna eat and that's gonna be the end of this video. If you like this video, then give it a like. If you wanna subscribe, then subscribe. And I will see you guys next week with, I don't know what yet, but I will see you guys next week. Bye.